Hey everybody, Mizba from Wakelet here, and today I'm gonna to take five minutes just to show you what the Wakelet platform is and how you can use it to achieve some really, really cool things. So what is Wakelet? Well, the way that I like to think about it is imagine Pinterest, but instead of just images, Wakelet allows you to capture, organize, and save any kind of content that you find on the web. So instead of just images, we're talking videos, social media posts, blogs, resources, anything with a URL, and of course, any content that you create yourself. So hopefully in the next five minutes, you're gonna discover how to create your very first Wakelet collection and how you can go about sharing it with your community and your network. So when you first sign up to Wakelet, you're gonna be in your home area. Now your home area is the area where you can create collections. Now, when you first sign up to Wakelet, you are gonna end up in your home area, and your home area is where all of the magic happens. Your home area is where you create collections, it's where you can navigate through spaces that you've created, uh, and it's where you can search and explore for other collections created on Wakelet as well. So this will be completely blank for you, but as you can see, I've got a bunch of collections that I've made over the years. Now, creating a collection is really, really easy. You just head over here and click this button. Now, once I'm in this new collection area, you'll see that I've got prompts there to give my collection a title, a description, and then if we head over to this button here, this opens up the design menu. So I can actually choose a cover image, uh, I can choose a layout and a background image as well, but we'll just come to that later. For now, what I wanna do is create a collection of resources for people who are interested in getting better at basketball. So what I can do now is I can start populating this collection with resources that I have handpicked from around the web. That's a really important part about Wakelet. You're not just adding random things to the collection, you're adding meaningful content that you have handpicked for your audience. Now, the great part about Wakelet is that you can paste literally any link into this box here and it's going to embed it and it's going to add it really really beautifully into a Wakelet collection. Way way more engaging than say just a list of hyperlinks. So if I head over to YouTube, let's say I found a video which I think is a really really cool way of getting better at basketball, I can literally head up to the URL, copy it, head back to Wakelet, and when I paste this in, it's actually gonna paste the YouTube video right into the Wakelet collection, and if I click play, it's gonna play that video directly in line. Now, the same thing applies for any link on the web, as I said. So let's say if I've got this local basketball club in Manchester, which I wanted to join, or maybe watch a few of their games, the same thing happens here. I can just go ahead, copy, and paste. Let's say I found some more tips as well here, from a website that shows some awesome dribbling, shooting, transition skill tips, same thing applies. Head to the URL, copy, paste it in, and let Wakelet do the rest. Now, another really cool part about Wakelet is context. You can add context to any one of these links that you save. So rather than just leaving it how it is, let's say I wanted to change the, the context and the narrative of this link, I can click this button here, click the edit button, and then change this to something really contextual. So uh, try these first. That way I'm adding context to this link. And remember, I can reorder these links however I like as well. Now, on top of just saving links, we also have a really cool bunch of integrations that you can use on Wakelet. I can add text as well. I can bring up images and I can add an image from Canva. I can choose a GIF. I can choose some really beautiful high definition images from the Unsplash library as well. So if I just search for basketball there, it will bring up some really cool pictures that I can use. And I can use those for cover images if I wanted to. I can also add from my bookmark, so I can add content that I've previously saved onto Wakelet. I can upload PDFs, and if you click this button here, it brings up a whole bunch of integrations where you can add content from really, really easily as well. That's it. Now, once you've finished fleshing out your collection and adding some content that you think is gonna be useful for either you or your audience, then you can go ahead and add a few little flourishes, like a cover image. Let's choose from Giphy this time. I can make that half so it takes up less space, and I can also choose the layout of my collection. Now, this is a really important part of Wakelet as well, which is choosing how you're going to actually visually show the content that you've added to your collection. So we've got five different views for you here. Media is the view which I'm using now that shows everything the way that it should be. So videos will look like videos, images will look like images. It's really good for storytelling as well. 
Compact allows you to kind of create like a, a list of links if you would, if you don't want to take up too much space. Grid view is really good for creating uh, comparisons between two different pieces of content. Mood board is organized chaos, really beautiful looking, uh, kind of really visually engaging board view. And columns allows you to create columns where you can uh, add lots of different content in each column and then scroll through them. We're gonna keep it at media for now. And that's it. Once I've created my collection, I can now share this with whoever I want by clicking this button right here. And now I've got a bunch of really cool ways that I can share my collection. I can either share it through a link, a QR code, I can embed it into a, uh, an LMS or my own blog or a website. I can share it on Google Classrooms, Microsoft Teams. And the really cool part is I can actually invite anybody who I want to come and collaborate within this collection with me. And they don't even need a Wakelet account to do it. And I do that by heading to this area here where I've got a whole bunch of ways that I can invite people to actually come along and collaborate on this collection with me. And that's it, that's how you create collections on Wakelet. It's really, really easy to do. And remember, you don't have to always share your collections. A lot of my collections are private, they're just for me. So for example, I went on holiday a few months back and I planned my entire journey on Wakelet. I was very lucky enough to go to Santorini, I'd recommend it, it's absolutely beautiful. And I managed to plan every single day of my stay on Wakelet. So I've got my itinerary here, this is what I'm doing on Friday, this is what I'm doing on Saturday, I've got my reservations, the uh, restaurants which I want to go to, the places where I want to travel, I've even got a Google map in there just to show me the route to a beach that I wanted to visit. And if I'm planning on taking this trip with other people, I can just send them an invite code and then they can click on the invite code and start adding places that they want to visit to as well. So we're planning it all together. There really are endless possibilities to the ways that you can get the most out of the Wakelet platform. Just lastly as well, there's an awesome exploration element to the Wakelet platform as well. Being able to discover collections that other really passionate people have put together. So I'd always recommend hitting the search and explore button regularly if you're looking for some inspiration or you're looking for some resources. So that basketball collection that I was just putting together, well, I found a basketball coach on Wakelet and his profile is stacked to the brim with way better collections than that. So that's it. I hope that you've enjoyed this very, very quick look into how Wakelet that can help you. This is literally just the tip of the iceberg. I've only shown you maybe a handful of ways that you can use Wakelet. The possibilities really are endless. My advice would be create an account, dive in, create your first collections on things which you find very, very interesting or things that you're passionate about, and then just go from there. I'm gonna be back throughout the rest of the year to give you a bunch of awesome tips and tricks on how you can get the most out of the platform. But until then, I hope that you've enjoyed this and I'll see you soon.